Hi everybody and welcome to your daily love card reading for Thursday, February the 8th. Um, yeah, so I've been really thinking about community and about how true love really is about love for everybody. I think people can get off track sometimes going one way or the other because they either think that love is, um, they think that by saying that it's about community and it's about everyone that it takes away from the one-to-one -one love or they can get lost in trying to help others in a way that really isn't truly about that because we must look after ourselves first and a lot of the time when we seek to help others or we seek to do something for the whole of society we really actually truly want it for ourselves so it can be misunderstood really easily um but really it's a very 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 important part of um love of relationship especially if you understand it if you are in an unconditional love relationship, twin soul, twin flame, divine love, whatever you want to call it, usually it's something to do with circumstance or the world that we've built, the society that we've built that can be problematic. And in my experience, the, the thing that needs to shift is not the love and not the people or as individuals, but it's how we view love collectively, how we view relationships collectively. And so for me, and all the work that I have done over the past three years and beyond, um, it's much more of a collective, it's much more of a collective experience than we know. And I wanted to share that, and I wonder whether it's going to come out in today's card. And it's one of the reasons why I do and have started to do these group online sessions, because they, they're just, for me, they're some of the most powerful, powerful things I've ever done. And it is about meeting others in love. It really, really is. So... I, I was just thinking about that today, but I wonder what's going to come out in today's card or cards because I'm going to do the bottom of the deck. Oh, three of swords. So I think this is going to be a day of, I'm going to say some, some news that may feel as though it's difficult or really it's it's actually it's not even news scrap that it's thoughts it's it's the thinking that is stopping the experience of just just the heart without the swords um it's it's allowing ourselves to be constrained by the way that we think about love this is a very very powerful message and this is about society it is because it's about the way we perceive love the way we think about it this is representative of how you think it should be the only thing that ever hurts or causes pain is the idea that it shouldn't be this way it should be another way that you know better than life how life should be going. The greatest intelligence beyond anything is life itself. What is happening? What is happening is the greatest intelligence that exists. Life. Everything. C across. You want to talk about dimensions. You want to talk about spirit. You want to talk about anything. Anything that anybody can con conceive of is a perspective from your from from your perspective has to be it it and so 
This is about that. It's about how you are choosing to see something. But our perspective is always minuscule in comparison to the infinite perspective and infinite intelligence that life itself has. And so this idea of heartbreak or anything that hurts is to do with our thinking and our perceptions and the belief that we know better than life. Life shouldn't be this way. Life should be another way. It shouldn't be this way. He shouldn't behave that way. She shouldn't behave that way. We shouldn't behave that way. We shouldn't be this. We should be this instead. That is the only thing that ever hurts. And, <laughs> and yes, this is a day of overcoming, overcoming our, um, our, those perspectives. It's a victory in life. There's, it's, it's, this feels like a movement forward and a victory and, and a movement forward, a movement on in a completely new energy. Again, these swords, these swords, the thinking. This day is a day of shifting the way that we think about love itself. How it should be. How love shows up in your life today. Just the awareness that anything that hurts is always a perspective that you have about something. Usually that says it shouldn't be this way. I know better. And you are never going to know better than life itself. Look at what life itself, life and everything that exists creates. Look at the miracles around you every day. In every second. And then think about whether you know better than life. And then be victorious in this day. This is about aligning and becoming, I'm gonna, I was gonna say a warrior, but that feels too aggressive, a, a part of life, aligning with the victorious nature of what is right. What is right and what wins is aligning with what is happening. In every moment. And that is the way that we transcend suffering. And shift our perspective. Individually. And collectively. On what love should look like. Alright then. Have an incredible day. Lots and lots of love. And I shall see you again tomorrow. If you would like to join me on the webinar. If you would like to join, join together with me and others just in focus. That's why it's so powerful to focus in one place in one time at one time is extremely powerful. So if you would like to do that and join me, then the link is below. Um, lots and lots and lots and lots and lot of love. And yes, I shall see you again tomorrow.